All right, I don't know what I did. I was trying to pause it, and I think I erased the video of what I was up to first. But what I was saying is, um, my, very, my very first turnout I built with this caliper. A triangle file and a flat file and my uh, soldering iron. I have a Hatco, what is it, 960 Hatco station. I raced RC cars for 40 some years so I've got a real good soldering station set up and everything. But that's all I had when I built my very first one. I bought uh, PC ties in bulk from Clover House, so I did have that, and the rail I got, I think I got that from Clover House too, I can't remember for sure. So I did order some nice stuff, but this is it. Well, let's see, let's get a, let's get a paper here, maybe we can... Maybe we can get it a little better. But as you can see, I used the Dremel wheel to cut my gaps because I didn't have a saw. Um, I hand filed my uh, points. And then the, the stock rail here, all by hand. If I can keep it in the, in the picture. And as you can see, I didn't know what I was doing, so I had done it too deep and everything. But the important part is, is that it, it does switch. Cars do roll over it. Yes, with that big of a gap, there is a small bump that I can feel now, that I know now, now that I've built a few. But, you know, if I was building a little 2x4 layout and was doing this, I could have put that right in the layout and it would have worked fine. And that's the first turnout I built 13 years ago.